If you want a man to start a revolution, then break him. And I mean really, truly break him. Take his hopes and dreams, and all his ambitions. Take away his rights, and his will to live. Destroy the things he loved, and even the one thing he loved the most. For once a man has lost the one thing he was most afraid of losing, he will have nothing left to fear, and will be left with a simple choice. To lay there, twisted and broken, allowing his heart to become warped, or to stand up once again and keep his broken heart open. If that man can gather the strength and the courage to return to his feet and look life in the eyes, then it will be a different man to the one you took apart. He will be a man who has nothing left to lose, nothing left to live for, and nothing for which he wants to die. In that state of nothingness, in that state of complete selflessness, he will no longer concern himself with the trivialities that once occupied his mind. When the heart is cleansed of all desires and wants, when it is swept clean of all that it once housed, and if it is still beating and its doors remain open, then that heart would have learnt to love indiscriminately, wholly without condition. And it is that ability to love without the influence of one's own personal desires that this world is most in need of. It is the broken person who refuses to believe that they are broken who will walk upon this earth like a ghost, inscrutable, moving and shaping their environment whilst remaining immune to the material attractions of this world. Impervious they will remain and immovable in their dedication to whatever task they place their mind upon. Beware, for if such a person should set themselves to changing the world around them, then no earthly force exists that is capable of suppressing their will. For such a person has transcended their own self and now works from a realm that most others are not yet privy to. Such a human being will not be swayed from whatsoever task they commit themselves to. And if it so happens that task is the betterment of the world, beware the one who attempts to impede the progress of such a person or to stand between them and their goals.